he must early go forth whose workers are few, himself his work to seek. Much remains undone for the morning sleeper, for the swift is wealth half won. Hey everybody, it's Jeremy, and welcome back to turn 59 of Ares, where we are playing Utgard. Let's jump into the turn. So, we've got a messenger from Gath. We've got a bunch of stuff from Gath, actually. A uh, message from Gath. I would like to trade for 50 water gems for remote site searching and underwater combat. Uh, PS, solve Midgard using ice devils. You better hurry summoning those uniques ready to supply you with blood slaves. Um, okay. So, one, we absolutely have no wa I mean, we have two water gems um, and zero water income. So, we really have nothing to spare to him in order to uh, provide him remote site searching and underwater combat jumps, um, unfortunately. Um, and as far as the Ice Devils thing go, we've already been considering, right, like uh, after hitting Alteration 7, running up Blood Magic. I talked about that, I think, in the last video or maybe the video before that, maybe heading towards Ice Devils now that we do have some more... Um, now that we have some more... Scrotty, and we could actually do a little bit of blood, uh, blood hunting, etc. I just don't think we're gonna make it there in time. We might try to do that anyways, because even if we don't make it to uh, Ice Devils, we might be able to push up to eight and make it to uh, Heliophagi. Um, we'll we'll see. I mean, we're just we're grasping at straws now, right? We're grasping at straws, so we'll we'll see what we can actually. Uh, get around to. Um, so what else do we have going on? Uh, and the rest of the message from Gath. Uh, congrats for winning the arena last turn. I kind of forgot to write about it. Have a congratulatory gift. We, they have sent us a pebble pouch and a sanguine dowsing rod, which will absolutely make use of the sanguine dowsing rod. We'll put the pebble pouch on somebody, you know, fun stuff. Uh, Thervaldi has cast Blood Feast and actually got a permanent craving for flesh. So let's go look at what that looks like. Thervaldi is right here. So on occasion, um, when you're doing Blood Feast, you have a chance to gain the Flesh Eater trait. And will eat population from the current province at a rate of one person per day, or it will start to get permanent afflictions. Um, so one person per day it, it is pretty high. <laughs> I think basically what that means is is that it's uh because I think I think the calendar for Dominions works off of the same basic concept. It's basically like a 30 day month, 12 month a year, right? Um so I think this means this is basically flesh eater 30. Um which is I wanna say lower than like uh you know, like a Melkart or something like that. Um but Thervaldi, th we, we don't want too many of these, I say, as I cast <laughs> Blood Feast yet again. Um, but the reason I'm casting Blood Feast on these Scrotty is because, you know, now Thervaldi is a Blood blood ma uh, blood 3 Mage, right? With a Sanguine Dowsing Rod, that's Blood 4. Um, Andre is going to go back up to a Blood... Uh, actually, he's where, he's where he's at right now. Um, he will be... Um, It'll be a uh, fucking water one, death one, blood two. Um, he he is what he is right now because we have the ring of sorcery on him. So, um, so this this is good stuff, right? It's the chant we have a chance of losing some pop of of inflicting him with a uh, flesh eater and losing more population. But right now, I I just don't care too terribly much, you know. Um, it's, it's important to have the levels, um, it's important to be able to do effective blood hunting and things like that, um, and it's potentially one of the ways that we're actually going to be able to do some stuff. So, uh, we did a bunch of site searching, we found a farm of plenty in the Whispering Waste, which is hot garbage, um, we are just so unlucky right now with sites it's really it's really unfortunate honestly we have a battle in nern uh where we lost one huskarl to the barbarian chiefs let's actually watch this we're just gonna watch the barrage of 
uh, javelins basically take these guys out. Yeah, so many javelins come in that the barbarians are just like, oh shit, and they run. So. That's very fun. It's always fun when you see that. Um, unexpected event in Greendale. We got heat plus three and population minus 30 from scorching desert wind sweeping over the land. Uh, and then brigands have taken up residence in a ruin in the Dead Forest. So our unrest, which we had just dropped a significant amount, has gone back up a significant amount. So that's annoying. Um, we patrolled out a force in Dead Forest um, and killed them. Dryad Mother. Uh, and then we found a sneaking Erythian scout, which I'm actually surprised that there's... Much of Arithia left, uh, truth be told. I'm pretty sure Atlantis has kind of swallowed the majority of that land. Um, okay, so that is all of the messages. We have a whole lot of movements, but honestly, it's uh, it's it's not really a whole lot going on. Um, we're just going to take it in stride. We're continuing to patrol out in Dead Forest. Uh, we had this down quite a bit, but then we got another event and it popped back up, so that's unfortunate. We're actually bringing back Big Goat 2 to, uh, we've preached as much as we can in Remire. We're going to bring him down to Dead Forest and start preaching under the protection of Yarl 2. Um, we are moving Seath 5 over into Troll Woods to start site searching. Everyone, all of, all of these site searchers are on uh, retreat, so there's that. Um, Gunloth is heading back to Ulm. Jarl 3 is heading back to Ulm. Um, we actually might end up sending, uh, Gajuke into Nern to start blood hunting soon, but we're not going to do it yet. We're site moving into Nern to site search. We're site searching with Air Force One. We're continuing to preach with Big Goad. We're site searching with Mogthrasir. We're moving with Brag to go site search some more. Site searching, site searching, site searching, site searching. Right? Just trying to get any amount, like site search for everything that we can and try to get any amount of. Uh, basically, any amount of effective. Uh, income. I think I'm actually going to move Norna 3 out right now. Like, and Norna 3, this is, this hurts, right? Um, it's scary, it's dangerous, but I, I, I think it's legitimately in my favor to try to move Norna 3 out and use her Astral 3, Death 3, Nature 2 to try to, um, get some more site searches. Um, we just, we need, we need some gem income. We are so incredibly hurting as far as gem income goes. We're doing a blood feast. We're blood hunting with Thervaldi and Baugi now, trying to, trying to just get up to a respectable amount of blood slaves per turn. Um, we might start doing... Forge item. I might start forging more Sanguine Dowsing Rods. Actually, I don't really see a reason not to. We're going to go ahead and forge another Sanguine Dowsing Rod. We're going to put that on Kajuke probably and send him up to Nern. We're just going to try to get as many people as we can blood hunting because blood it, it is quickly become it's quickly becoming obvious to me that blood is the only um, gem source, quote unquote gem source, that I have any control over right now. Um, I've been trying to site search absolutely everything. I've been doing what I can there, and I'm just not getting anything. So we might just have to throw all of our eggs into the blood basket and see how it goes. Um, which is gonna be a little rough. It would be way easier, and this is this is why we had a blood five. Was it a blood five? Did we have a blood five? I remember we had a blood five. Yeah, we had a blood five. Um, pretender, right, is so that we could try to get up decently high in blood with that pretender when the time came. But now we don't have a capital, so we can't get that pretender. <laughs> so, 
Kind of is what it is. A lot of these movements, by the way, we're moving Big Goad 1 out, we're moving Goad 1 out, we're moving Balder out, we're moving them all into different positions to be able to preach. We're going to try to preach everything up, we're going to try to get uh, um, get our dominion spread out, etc. So we are a little bit more protected from um, various things. And that is pretty much it. I mean, that's uh, that's about how it goes. We are still several turns away from alteration. We are recruiting. We'll have another Scrotty next turn. We're going to get some more scouts uh, for blood hunting situations, right? Um, we also might start producing some more scouts just to see if we can't get out into a couple more areas. Get some more information. Um, like what are we doing over here? Okay, we can't do it. We're doing a we're doing another Scrotty over here. Again, we're gonna try to get to that mark with the Scrotties where we where we feel comfortable about what we're doing there. And then we're just gonna keep researching. We're gonna try to figure out what what impact can we actually make on this game as we head into the final stages of it. All right, I think that is probably about it for this turn. Let's go ahead and go to messages real quick. We do have a couple of things, by the way. We now have this bubble pouch. We have a ring of generation that we're sitting on for someone. We have a vine shield that can go back on Gunloth, etc. Right? Okay, uh, messages. We're going to send a message to Gath in response to the message that he sent. Uh, we're going to say, unfortunately, my blood economy was all but destroyed in the previous wars, as was my research. Trying to get both back online now, but it's likely uh, that Midgard has displaced me there. I also have basically no water gems to my name. Uh, apologies, good luck, and thank you for the gifts. I will do my best to make good use of them. We'll send that out to Gath, and then we will send a message out to everyone stating, where have all the good gems gone? That is pretty much this turn. I think the Throne of Fortune having astral gems is the only reason we have like, a pittance of an income. We have, we have an income of less than 10 at 59 turns in the game. This is excruciating. Cause okay, so it's I get that it's it's late age, right? The the gems are sparse. But this is like a whole it, it's not just that we're getting unlucky finding sites. We're getting really bad sites. Uh like we get a mine of superior iron for 60 resources. Yeah. We get an ancient ruin for large spiders. Yeah. Iron mine, 40 resources. Eh! Grove of fertility. Okay, we got a nature gem. Farm of plenty, 50 supply points. Eh! <laughs> if, if these four, right? If the farm of plenty, the ancient ruin, the iron mine, and the mine of superior, if they were, if they were actual gem sites, then I would not feel nearly as bad. But they're not. <laughs> and it hurts. It hurts so bad. Um, Alright, so that is the turn. Uh, kind of boring, sorry. We're, we're locked into a pattern right now. We can launch ourselves at someone, but I want to launch myself at someone at an opportune time when it makes sense, right? So we're going to see what we can do, and we will go from there. I'll see you all next time. Peace.